Two quarterbacks struggled in week one of the NFL season. Eli Manning struggled, and Jimmy Garoppolo actually struggled quite a bit. So Eli's numbers were not terrible. He was 23 for 37. And that's, you know, 224 yards, no touchdowns, an interception, um, and a 64% completion percentage. But Eli Manning was ugly at times. Eli Manning looked bad. At times, he just kind of threw the ball up for grabs. It was messy. His, uh, I don't know. And if you look at Eli Manning's pick six, I know that it was mostly bad luck. It got tipped. It wasn't a great throw, but it wasn't, it wasn't all his fault. But you feel like Jimmy Garoppolo is a little bit different story. Jimmy Garoppolo had worse statistics. He was 15 for 33. Only a 45% completion percentage. Jimmy Garoppolo, 261 yards passing. One touchdown, but three ugly interceptions. And the truth is, it really should have been four interceptions. He got lucky early in the game. Jimmy Garoppolo had a bad pick six. He missed a slant high that was thrown for a pick. He, twice, I remember vividly, Jimmy Garoppolo just looked inaccurate. He threw a pick, a pick six on the right side. He threw a high slant that was picked off. And at the end of the game for the 49ers, he tried to throw a touchdown over the middle. To, I think it was George Kittle. And he just completely airmailed it out of the back of the end zone. The 49ers missed out on a chance of potentially getting a uh, touchdown. I don't know. Uh, the, the final interception, I don't want to be as critical of Jimmy Garoppolo. He's trying to make a play. Time is running out. He forced the ball into coverage. It's not that exciting, but it's not the worst thing ever. I don't know. Now, there was a moment for Jimmy Garoppolo where he rolled to his left, made an Aaron Rodgers type play, flipped his hips, threw the ball deep downfield, threw a touchdown. It looked fantastic. Again, it reminded me of Aaron Rodgers. But neither Eli Manning or Jimmy Garoppolo looked particularly good. Now, statistically, Jimmy Garoppolo, you could argue, did worse. He had four, had three interceptions, should have been four. But if you actually watched, Eli Manning didn't play well either. Neither was particularly great. However, if you're going to be critical of Jimmy Garoppolo and critical of Eli Manning, you have to remember something. Think about who they played. The 49ers played the Vikings, and the Giants played the Jaguars. Last year, they were the top two defenses in the entire NFL. They will probably do the same thing again. And so I struggle to pass judgment after just one game. You know, we can, we can all say Sam Darnold is the second coming of Jesus Christ. Who knows? It's one game. And if you're going to use that logic, you've got to use the same logic with Jimmy Garoppolo, with Eli Manning. It's one game. Slow down. After four weeks, we'll know. If, if four weeks from now, Jimmy Garoppolo has 15 interceptions, looks terrible. You, everybody can say, Jimmy Garoppolo is way overpaid. But give it four games. Give it some time. And you should wait four games before you criticize Eli Manning. I don't know that Eli Manning's a bum. He played the Jaguars. They're a fantastic defense. I, I, look, every fiber in my body wants to say, Eli Manning stinks, because that was the prediction I made. But I'm not going to use confirmation bias. I'm not going to, the minute I get a glimpse of evidence that would support my argument, I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to wait until I get all the evidence. I'm going to give it four weeks. Remember, Eli Manning had constant pressure in his face all day. It's, it feels weird to be defending him because I've, I've been critical of the Giants all offseason for choosing Eli Manning. But I don't know that you can be that super critical of him losing to the Jaguars. I, I'm not saying he played well. He played really concerningly. But it's one week. And the 49ers, they looked outmatched in all phases of football. Their pass rushes out. They, they, they just didn't look... They looked outmatched by the Vikings. My prediction was right about the 49ers. I said, look... They're not a bad team, but they're still a year away from competing with teams at the top end of the NFL. That's what happened with the 49ers. They weren't ready for the Vikings. They just didn't look quite ready for that. I don't know. I mean, everybody who plays the Vikings, everybody who plays the Jaguars, every single quarterback is going to play a step below their normal level. So I would wait before you judge really harshly Jimmy Garoppolo, before you really harshly judge Eli Manning, give it four weeks. Wait till there's more evidence and then make your judgment because one game simply is not enough. It's not enough to anoint Eli Manning. The sec it's not enough to anoint Sam Darnold, the next Jesus Christ of New York. It's not enough to say that Eli Manning is awful. It's not enough to say anything. It's one game. Relax and wait for more evidence. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my show, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my pride and joy. I'm very proud of it. If you're new to Strong Opinion Sports, you can subscribe to it on iTunes, SoundCloud, on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube, or you can find more shorter breakout videos like the one you just watched. And if you like what I had to say, maybe you hate what I had to say, share this with your friends. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about the show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Have a great day.